I'm Malaya here at IT Supplies, and today we're going to be showing you how to print on a metal panel using the Epson Surecolor F6370. So the first thing we need to do is set up our job. Using Epson Edge, we're going to go to File, Add Job List. We're going to choose this pretty little image here. Open it up. going to take some time to actually add the file on here now. So just take a minute. Clicking my image, I'm going to go over to media size. We're going to use a 44 inch roll. Because we're not doing fabric, we're going to go to the thickness of a rigid material. And because we're printing on the metal, we're just going to go high quality just to show you what this printer can do. As a resolution, we're going to go 720 by 720 DPI. And now we're going to go to our basic layout. Because we're doing an 8 by 10, we're going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. So now it's going to be a 13 by 8, and I can center my metal perfectly on there. I have my image mirrored. Now we're ready to go ahead and rip our job and print. So we're going to click print, and it's going to rip and print for us at the same time. Now we're going to go right back over to the F6370. The printer is now printing the image for us, and once it's done, it's going to cut it for us, and then we will apply the metal and the heat. And here it is. Now it's time to prep our metal. Now we're ready to prep. I'm gonna use my little pizza slicer here to cut my paper. So now I have a nice clean sheet. Take my metal. It has a protective coat over it, so I'm going to use my nails. Be very careful because you don't want to chip the metal. So pull back the film. Now we're going to line it up. So we made this image a little bit bigger just because I wanted some different pops of color for you guys to see. Now that I have it lined up the way that I want it, because I have what I want in the image, I am now going to take my heat tape, which is heat resistant, so that I can heat it at 400 degrees. And I'm going to cut this to put on the sides of my metal to hold it down properly for when I transport it over to our heat press. This is going to pre prevent any ghosting that we're going to run into if the heat press lifts up. So now I'm sturdy on there. So now I have my heat press that's set at 400 degrees for 30 seconds. I'm going to use our silicone parchment paper to protect our heat press as well as our image and metal. So I'm going to lay this on here just to get, not to have to use so many, I'm going to use half of this sheet as such. So I'm going to turn the metal facing down, paper facing up, and I'm going to fold over just like this just to get the most use out of this. Now I'm ready to go right in using medium pressure. And for 30 seconds, we're going to see what this looks like right after. This is a Stahl's Hotronic 16 by 20 press, and uh, this is able to open up as needed. It's not going to auto pop up, but it does give you that buzzing sound. 
now we are ready to take this beauty off. It is very hot, so do not automatically touch this, friends. But using my tape, I'm going to show you what this looks like because I left the tape on there for you guys. And we have a finished product. Thanks so much for watching this. If you would like to see more of these videos, please go to our YouTube channel.